Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's check out Centipede Recharged on Nintendo Switch. Uh, now this game's actually available for pretty much every platform on PC, uh, PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, obviously here, I think it's available on like Stadia too. I mean, so yeah, if you want to play this game, um, you won't be left out. But uh, yeah, I don't know anything about it. Um, of course, I'm a fan of Centipede because I'm uh, of that age that would have played this as a kid. Although, you know, not particularly well. <laughs> I was pretty young when this came out. Okay, what do we got here? Chinese? I think so. No Korean, sadly. Alright, well, let's check it out, huh? Oh, I see they went with the vector style graphics. I mean, the original wasn't even vector style graphics. Oh, no, no, wait, no that's, that's right, it was vector style. Man, it's been so long since I played it. Last time we played it was on the uh, Atari collection, I think? Atari Legacy or something like that? continuous round. It's not broken up into rounds like the original game. Oh. It's just one round period. I guess you don't even get extra lives in this one. Wow, that's different. Challenge mode. It's a complete challenge for score. Here, I'm going to reach 5,000 score. Classic sounds. Oh, well, please go. Ooh. Every once in a while, you get that sound of like. Doo -doo 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 -doo.
trap. That's right, 45 mushrooms. Challenge mode is okay. I just, you know, thought there would be more to it on the secret player. I mean, the backgrounds don't even change or anything. It's just, it's just an endless loop. I mean, at least the music is different every once in a while. Huh. 
Mm. Yeah, I, why? Well, I, 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 I almost don't know what to say about this. Uh, this is out of Street. You've been watching uh, Centipede Recharge on a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, this is kind of a bare bones release. I mean, it's it's ten dollars, so it's not exactly um, it's not exactly a super expensive game, uh, and not necessarily like your most budget game. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I thought this would be a little bit more spruced up. Um, and I thought there would be more modes available. Uh, uh, and even just allowing the classic version, I think that at bare minimum should have been on here as well. So, yeah, I, I mean, the additions are okay. Like, I don't necessarily feel that this is, like, a really good reimagining. Um, it's just alright, and I'm not, I'm not, like, too terribly attached to it. Uh, if anything... Uh, you know, I think it's good for a modern audience to see Centipede. I don't know if, you know, the original game had a had a trackball in the arcade. It's kind of hard to emulate that movement uh, with home controllers. Um, so, you know, it's probably the best way to play it, but at the same time, man, I think they should put more work into this. Uh, especially with such a, uh, you know, such a, a, a long classic franchise. Um, you know, I can't really recommend it. For $10? I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. Um, half the price, sure, $5. I think this could be a $5 game. But, you know, without more to it, uh, without, like, different levels, the, you, know, uh, you know, the way uh, the original game, you know, it had a set number of enemies and you could sweep through it and it would rebuild the level and change the colors and, you know, I mean, they didn't utilize really even the classic sounds, which I thought would certainly be in a reimagining. So, yeah, a little disappointing, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, hey, there you go. I played it for you, so uh, you don't have to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next screen.